All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. All right, this is Brother Yahweh Sapa with another quick lesson. Uh, basically, today, man, I was just going through some articles, um, just looking up <laughs> the news, man, seeing what was going on, and I see this, man. Um, and this is something I have spoke on uh, at camp, and I wanted to go into a little bit more. Um, but pretty much, as you can see from the title, um, of this article, it says mega drag thread drag events target children ahead of gay Pri gay pride month. All right, now there there was um a drag queen uh show show and tell or whatever it was at this high school uh about last week, man. They were they had uh drag queens dancing for the high schoolers, you know. And this is the things that that America is promoting, man, is wickedness. All right, targeting children. You know, teaching them all about sex and teaching them all about um, perverse things whenever they are young, man. And that's how Esau wants to get at at mainly you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, your Israelites, according to the Bible. But, but the whole world, he wants to put the whole world on this vibration to make him, <laughs> to make everyone as wicked as he is. That way, whenever Yahweh comes back, all right, he has an excuse ultimately because he's the accuser of our brethren. But as you can see, man, this is what America promotes and it's straight and utter wickedness. And that's why this place needs to be destroyed. That's why Esau needs to be taken down. Because if it weren't for the elect's sake and the days being shortened, this man will rule over this whole this whole world and just completely and utterly waste it, man. All right. So just to read a little bit, I uh, said anyone that's been paying attention knows the agenda to sexualize children is not only real, but has accelerated as the LGBT cult now openly brags they're coming after children. And look at that shit, man. That shit's disgusting. All right. It says, while the leftist media portrays LGBT indoctr indoctrination and sexualization of children as a right wing conspiracy theory, online activist Libs of TikTok shows how many drag and gay pride events are directly directly targeting children. It says in a mega drag thread posted just days ahead of the start of the LGBT Pride Month, the embattled social media account highlighted numerous drag events that have happened at schools over the past month or are set to take place next month, all geared towards children. All right. And so that's what these people are doing. That's what Esau uh, is teaching your kids uh, while they're at school. If the, if the schools are not getting shot up in mass shootings. All right. They're teaching your, your kids how to become drag queens, man. They're confusion. All right. And people are upset. All right. But just to show you, man, there's there's uh, there's threads down here that go to show you. All right. Which you can look this up on your own. But pretty much it goes to show you that there's this is happening everywhere. And if you're not paying attention, man, you know, you can you, you can have your kid get drag, dragged into this man one day. You know, your son might come home and say, Daddy, I want to put on a dress or mommy. That's wickedness, man. And this is what this place promotes. And that's why the most High is going to destroy it. All right. So getting into the scriptures, man, this is going to be the book of Amos chapter nine. And I'm going to start at verse eight. And it says, behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. That's right. So the Lord is going to destroy this place off of the face of the earth. All right. Because this is the sinful kingdom that is on the earth right now, causing its wickedness to be spread upon the whole world, man. All right, and as you can see, this this is they'll give billions and dollars uh, into uh, gender studies. All right, while you have homeless people all over America, all over the world that they can feed, man. You know, and they go out there and they dig in the ocean for <laughs> for oil, man. They'll go way out there to dig for oil, but they won't clean up the trash that is in the ocean. They won't plant the trees that they're cutting down, man. You know, that just goes to show you. So from there, I want to get this. It's gonna be the book. Of Micah chapter two and verse one, and it says, "Woe to them that that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand." That's right. So they practice all this wickedness because it is in the power of their hand. But but at the beginning it said, "Woe to them!" So the destruction to them, and the Most High is getting ready to raise up a standard against this place to destroy it, man. All right, he's, that's, he's going to send the curse, which is the chariots, upon this place to, to bomb it and to, to shoot it down, man. <laughs> All right, he's going to send those th thermonuclear fires over your uh, <laughs> thermonuclear bombs, missiles, All right, to, to come over here and just destroy America off the face of the earth, man. Because that's what they have 
promoting here, man. All right, trying to teach your children. All right, and that's all confusion and wickedness. All right, and so from there, I want to go ahead and get the book of Hebrews. All right, because this man is trying to make everyone as him, and we know how he is. All right, which is Salakia. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. And it says, I'm going to start verse 15, Hebrews 12 and 15. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of Yahweh, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and there and thereby many be defiled. All right, so, you know, he's going into how to serve the Lord, man, to make straight your paths. All right, and he says, verse 16, lest there be, so concert, you know, serve you, how about Shemia and, Shah? And it says, verse 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, which if you don't know who Esau is, he's a so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, all right? Because you people are not white, you're red. And so from there, I wanted to get the word fornicator and profane, all right? So that word fornicator says the a man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire that's right and that's all this man promotes you know he'll put it look it's it's called uh, uh in the greek it's pornos all right and that's what this place is man that's what this place promotes hello porn with porn sites man all right there was this one comedian who got on stage and was saying you know as a joke but it was very real you know he said in his other country in his country uh, he would be able to drive around and, and look at women and be okay and not have to worry about getting getting a rock on. But when he started coming to America, there was so much billboards and and TV shows that were promoting it that he would just he would just be rock hard in in the middle of traffic, man, or walking down the street for no reason, you know, because that's what this place promotes is wickedness, all right, and and, and fornication, and then it says profane. So I'm ready to go go ahead and get that word profane as well, which means unhallowed common public place of men ungodly that's right which this this place is hella ungodly man it's hella unrighteous right so from there i want to go ahead and end it off on this it's gonna be the book where's that salakia it's gonna be the book of isaiah chapter 34 all right and verse 5 and it says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Right. And that's right. And you can see why, man. You see what these people are promoting. All right. They be kidnapping babies, man, selling their organs, eating them, raping them, man, all, all types of things, man. And then just the things that he's done unto our people alone. All right. Chattel slavery. All right. The, the Indian boarding schools. OK. The pair of English. Derby's those all all the wicked and profane things that he's did unto our people, you know. He, the the Most High is going to cause his son, his judgment, to be, uh, his his uh, sword. Salaki as his son, he's going to cause his sword to come down upon Idumia for judgment. All right. So it says, verse six: The sword of the Lord is filled with blood; it is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. That's right, because these people are wicked and they need to be cut off from the face of the earth for, for, for promoting that bullshit, man. All right. But that just goes to show you, even in the midst of war, in the midst of, of, of famines coming, man, in the midst of <laughs> just death and judgment, they're sitting here promoting that, man. All right. And this place needs to go. So with that being said, man, I praise this lesson was edifying. And once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakwadash. All right. And until next time I say, Shalom.